Here's a video I thought would be helpful for those of you who are trying to figure out how in the heck they come up with the arch sizes and some of them aren't perfect circles. This thing here you can look at looks like it's half of a circle. That one would be easy to figure out. This one here, how in the heck do you figure something like this out? It's still round. Um, and basically, this is just a bigger circle. Here's one here. Obviously, this looks round. This would be just maybe a half circle. Um, again, that would be kind of easy to figure out. This one, well, wait a minute here. Uh, how did they come up with this? It looks like it's going over a little farther. And you can basically get the shapes of certain objects for arches by relocating the circle. And I'm going to show you that here in a second. Again, half circle. That doesn't look too, too hard to figure out. And this one here, again, doesn't look too hard to figure out, except for the damage right there. Hopefully these illustrations make sense. The arches are basically formed by circles. And again, these are just round ar arches. They do have elliptical arches and a variety of different arches. But you can basically see that the size of the cutout of the arch is basically created by a circle. This one right here is about a three foot circle. This I believe is about a six foot, eight foot, 10 foot and 15 foot and these are radiuses so uh, I'm sorry this would be a 15 foot radius this would be a 10 foot radius 8 foot this would be a, a 6 foot and I believe this would be a 3 foot radius so just kind of giving you an idea of the scale and I believe this was about a 20 foot width here and this is about 10 foot tall but here we can see the cutouts let's go ahead and zoom in on that so if we had a part of the building that we wanted to look like this, we could start with the center of the arch, the radius, go to the center of the shape, and then um, draw a three-foot circle. This would be a half, half of a circle for something like this. Same thing here. This is just a larger shape. Um, with here but you can basically see where you could raise or move these off to the sides to get different shapes for your arches and I am going to put a link at the end of the video to a um, to give you to send you to one of the web pages to where I have I think all the videos I've made on arches and uh, you can use those to uh, those will, you can use those to actually build an arch or um, give you an idea how to actually lay out and mark the arch circle the that you would be using to cut out um, cut out the shape itself. And this one here we have the same thing a larger arch. This would be a half circle. This one right here wouldn't. This would be something where we actually moved the circle down. And this one, of course, would be where we moved the circle down even farther. So for something like this, you would basically start with the section of the building you are going to use for the arch. And then relocate the center of the circle to get a shape that is just going to appear to be the uh, the top of the circle. And I think this is better. The way that I have this right here gives you a better idea. It's really hard for people. I, I notice I've made a couple of videos and it's difficult for them to understand how you get the different shapes. And so hopefully this uh, this is helpful. And if it is, don't forget to hit the old thumbs up button.